Dear viewers, welcome to Nursad Satellite Channel and Telemir TV. We begin with the following headlines. Pope Francis prays for Lebanon, the Holy Land, and the Middle East. His Majesty the King calls for the need to reach a comprehensive ceasefire in the Middle East and to avoid the expansion of the conflict. The bishops of the world demand an official apology from the Olympic Committee for the opening ceremony. The Sacred Heart Parish in Naur celebrates its centennial. Welcome back. After reciting the Angelus Prayer, His Holiness Pope Francis expressed his concern about the wars and victims in the Middle East, especially innocent children. He called for the conflict and violence not to escalate further and expressed his solidarity with those affected in the Holy Land and Lebanon. His Holiness emphasized the need for courage to return to dialogue in order to achieve an immediate ceasefire in Gaza and on all, all fronts. He also called for release of hostages and humanitarian aid for Palestinians in Gaza. He pointed out that killings can never be a solution and do not help advance justice and peace. Instead, they generate more hatred and desire for revenge. He urged not to stifle the world of peace, but to make it the future of the Holy Land, the Middle East, and the whole world. The Holy Father made an appeal to all parties to avoid violence in any form, resolve conflicts through dialogue and focus on the true good of the people rather than personal interest. His Majesty King Abdullah II called for an intifized international efforts to achieve a comprehensive ceasefire to prevent the expansion of the conflict in the region and further chaos. His Majesty emphasized the importance of halting regional escalation and unilateral Israeli measures, warning of their potential to fuel violence and tensions in the region. He stressed the need for an immediate and permanent ceasefire in Gaza and the end of the humanitarian suffering of the residents of the Strip. King Abdullah highlighted Jordan's ongoing efforts to provide humanitarian aid in various available ways. His Majesty reaffirmed the importance of working towards a political horizon that leads to the establishment of an independent Palestinian state based on the June 4, 1967 borders, with East Jerusalem as the capital, on the basis of the two-state solution. On the occasion of the centennial celebration of the establishment of the Sacred Heart Parish in Naur, southwest of Amman, Cardinal Prizabella, Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem, presided over a festive Mass, the Mass that was organized by the parish priest Father Bashir Badr, along with the nuns and parish activities. In his speech, Cardinal Pizzabella praised the efforts made over the past hundred years in the town and parish as part of Jordan's long history of coexistence. He noted that this achievement would not have been possible without the Hashemites, who from the very first day of establishing the Emirate and later the Kingdom, envisioned Jordan as a harmonious and loving country. During the celebration, the governor of Naur, the mayor and father Bashar Naimat delivered welcoming speeches, discussing the state of harmony and coexistence in Naur as a living miniature representation of the Greater Jordan. Upon his arrival at the municipal square from Jerusalem, Cardinal Pizzabella was greeted by the governor of Naur, Dr. Muhammad al husami former patriarch for Adatwal, the acting patriarchal vicar for the Latins in Jordan, Father Jihad Shwihat, along with several bishops, priests, nuns, religious and official figures, and community members. <laughs> Catholic cardinals and bishops from around the world have called on the Olympic Committee in Paris to apologize for the distorted depiction of the Last Supper, pledging a day of prayer and fasting as atonement for this blasphemy. The bishops warned that this portrayal, which was viewed by the world, threatens people of all religions and those without religion, as it opens the door for those in power to act against people they dislike. The opening ceremony of the Olympics had sparked global outrage due to the scenes that included extravagant dances by a group of people, which may be described as a mockery of the Last Supper. The bishop stated that any genuine apology must include an acknowledgement of the mistake. The Middle East Council of Churches has sent a strongly worded message to the Olympics administration in France, containing a firm and explicit rejection of the broadcasting scenes that are offensive to one of the most significant and sacred events 
in Christianity. In celebration of the Feast of Prophet Elijah, His Excellency Bishop Christophorus, the Bishop of Jordan for the Greek Orthodox, presided over a divine liturgy at the archaeological site of Tel Mar Elias. In his sermon, His Excellency said, it is a great blessing to be in the sacred place which was once vibrant with monastic life in the 4th and 5th centuries AD. This period is considered part of the identity of our holy land which has witnessed and continues to witness divine concession for the salvation of humanity. He noted that Prophet Elijah was sent to us along with all the prophets of the Old Testament, Saint John the Baptist and the saints of the New Testament to help us care for the salvation of our souls. During the celebration, which was attended by a large number of believers from various provinces of the kingdom and supported by the Greek embassy in Amman, His Excellency thanked all Jordanian institutions responsible for the care of the site and the Greek Ministry of Culture for its contribution to the restoration of this sacred place. His Excellency also offered prayers for the peace in the region and the entire world. From in front of the Church of the Virgin of Nazareth in the Swafia area of Amman, the prayers of the faithful were lifted up to the Virgin Mary, placing all their hopes, requests, and lives in their hands. Father Anton Hremat recited the rosary amidst a notable presence of parishioners and residents from neighboring areas. During the prayer and through reflective pauses that praise the Blessed Virgin, it was emphasized that the rosary is not limited to a specific period, but it is to be recited daily throughout the year. As part of the summer activities for the scout groups of the Greek Catholic Diocese of Umm Summa, the 10th summer camp titled Jesus Loves Us was held at the diocese house. The camp, which lasted three days, saw participation from 160 children and scouts from the parish. During the camp, they engaged in spiritual and recreational activities, as well as various social and religious segments from the Bible, presented by several priests. The camp concluded with a divine liturgy presided over by Archman Drive Dr. Bassam Shahadit, president of the First Instant Court for the Greek Catholics, with the participation of Father Judge Walid Diq from Lebanon. In a related context, and with the blessing of His Eminence Archman Dreit Athanasius Khaqish, the camp Walking in Your Path concluded its activities in the town of Shatana in northern Jordan, with the participation of a large number of parishioners. The camp featured various recreational and water activities, lectures, spiritual competitions, and diverse segments. Father Theodore Swiss presided over a divine liturgy with the participation of clergy and parishioners. The camp also included a social evening with various entertainment segments, creating an atmosphere of warmth and enjoyment. In recent days, a youth volunteer camp has commenced in Amman in collaboration with the Italian organization No to War. These camps are usually annually held in the kingdom with the goal of exchanging experiences with Jordanian youth and enhancing social and volunteer work throughout fieldwork with those in need and refugees in Jordan. This year's camp, which runs until the 17th of the current month at the Hashmite Northern Latin Parish, includes 20 young men and women from Italy. They are participating in various activities, including field visits, working with refugees, and supporting parish activities, especially summer camps for children. It is noteworthy that these camps are established as part of Caritas Jordan's mission to emphasize the importance of youth involvement in volunteer activities and to promote solidarity and service through the exchange of volunteer, social, and cultural experiences. Architects and museum curators have completed restoration work at the Holy Land Archaeological Museum in the Old City of Jerusalem. During their work, they added new pieces to some rooms, including the mosaic of the Byzantine complex in Cana and several mosaics in rooms designated for the Church of the Tears of the Lord. In the sacred tomb room, marble elements were taken from the graves of the Crusader kings were installed. Additionally, the rooms dedicated to the Mount Tabor and Jasmaniya shrines were prepared, which will celebrate their centennial this year. On the upper floor of the museum, the section of the exhibition dedicated to archaeological collections have been completed, representing the final parts of the museum's development. The discoveries show that people were residing in this area around the 1st century AD specifically in the Garden of the Jasmania in Jerusalem. 
The Minister of Government Communication, Dr. Mohanad Mbaydeen, sponsored the Artificial Intelligence for Peace and Human Dignity conference held in Amman. In his opening speech, the sponsor highlighted that artificial intelligence is an important intellectual tool for generating information and facilitating researchers' access to data that can help them serve their communities. He discussed how research can contribute to promoting human rights and community development. The conference featured two sessions. The first session was titled How We Arrived at Artificial Intelligence. The second session included several lectures, one of which focused on artificial intelligence and peace, presenting an analysis of Pope Francis's message on peace and media. Another lecture addressed media literacy concerning fake news using artificial intelligence. The conference was attended by Mr. Majdi Badr, the Knight of the Holy Sepulchre, along with several priests, judges, and a group of literally cultural and media personalities. Pope Tawadros II, Pope of Alexandria and Patriarch of the See of St. Mark for the Coptic Orthodox Church, received the General Assembly of the Marian Association in Jordan, represented by spiritual advisor Father Ibrahim Nafa. During the meeting, His Holiness provided a comprehensive explanation about the journey of the Holy Family in Egypt, its history and civilization, while Father Nafa gave an overview of the Assembly's work and its role in serving the parish. At the end of the meeting, His Holiness bestowed his blessings upon the attendees and presented them with commemorative gifts. During the visit, the Jordanian delegation also met with Father Francis Murad, the priest of the Cathedral of Mary, Mother of the Apostles, and Father Emmanuel Subhi, the spiritual advisor for the Marian associations in Egypt. The meeting included an exchange of historical insights between the associations and the scheduling of some dates for mutual visits between the two countries to celebrate shared Marian occasions. Iraqi Prime Minister Mohammad Shia Sudani stated that the Yazidis in Iraq experienced unprecedented brutality after the ISIS terrorist organization targeted women and children, followed by the abduction crime, which represented a scene devoid of honor, humanity, and morality. During a memorial event held in Baghdad to mark the 10th anniversary of the Yazidis' genocide and the persecution of other Iraqi communities, al-Sudani said that the invasion of Yazidis' villages and towns in Nineveh Governorate revealed the conspiracy aimed at disrupting the diversity and peaceful coexistence of all Iraqis. The event was attended by His Eminence Cardinal Louis Rafael Sacco, representative of government institutions, religious leaders, and some ministers, deputies, diplomatic missions, and a large gathering of Iraqi citizens and members of various church congregations. <laughs> Father Jihad Shwihat, the acting patriarchal vicar for Latins in Jordan, presided over a divine liturgy held by De La Salle Frere College in Amman for the repose of the soul of Brother Rafael Gonzalez the former director of De La Salle schools in Palestine and Jordan. The Mass was attended by several priests, Dr. Basim Saan, regional director of NUSA TV for Jordan and Palestine, as well as current and former administrative and educational staff of the college, Christian schools principals in the kingdom, and a large congregation of believers. After the Mass, eulogies were delivered, praising the virtues of the deceased and his monastic life, which spanned 70 years, during which Brother Raphael dedicated his efforts to serving the schools, the church, and the community. And with this, dear viewers, we have reached the end of our broadcast. Before we conclude, here's a recap of the highlights covered herein. Pope Francis prays for Lebanon, the Holy Land, and the Middle East. His Majesty the King calls for the need to reach a comprehensive ceasefire in the Middle East and to avoid the expansion of the conflict. The bishops of the world demand an official apology from the Olympic Committee for the opening ceremony. The Sacred Heart Parish of Naur celebrates its centennial. For more information, please visit our website, nursajo.org. Thank you for watching. Hope you had a pleasant time. See you again soon.